que vim! <laughs> ah, all of beautiful people, let me put Sam down. Hey guys, I look so pretty in my skin. I'm looking myself in here, on here. I look beautiful. Okay, I'm at work. Sorry, I'm currently at work. Hey guys. Uh, let me rotate a bit. Okay. I'm currently at work. I'm going to check myself there. But anyways. Ah, my shift. Oh, it's hot in here. It's really hot. Oh, there's a bit of a sound that's making that sword. Hey, guys. My skin is so nice, but I didn't put makeup. I just put mascara and that's it. Anyways, hey guys, I hope you guys are good. I'm good. You've had a good week. Yeah, the iced coffee's finished. Um, it's just ice that I'm gonna be chewing on, which is my favorite thing to do after drinking iced coffee. But anyways, hope you guys are good. I'm good. Sorry that I'm busy checking out. Um, who's watching me over here because the security is here in this parking lot They don't want us to be in, in the cars. Let me zoom in a bit Yeah, they don't want us to be in the cars. I don't know why we have the casino. Yeah, it's been like uh, Close to it's almost this week is the second week since I've started working at Monty so it's practically two weeks anyways but yeah guys i hope you guys are good i mean i'm good um um what am i talking about today oh i have one there's a topic um this lady oh i keep referring to people um it's due to because i listen to a lot of uh people who say serious stuff who talk about thoughtful things that makes your mind think about the topic that you just heard so yeah I listen to a lot of it I used to listen to a podcast but now I have stopped it's been a while oh yeah man there was yeah I wanted to talk about this um, lady that I was talking before I deflected from the whole topic that I really wanted to talk about um, she was talking about um, protecting your womb. I'll put some clips. She has more of this activists of women to protect their wombs. Um, or to, not to allow any men in jail just to put a seed and then the next thing the women are going to be left with the kid. So yeah. She was more talking about being an activist of women, Uti. You know what? You need to actually protect your womb as women. So in the society that we in the society that we're living in right now, not a lot of girls are um, abstaining. Also, we have this rate of teenage pregnancy in South Africa so yeah she's more being active she's more of an activist of that because i even saw this other day i think it was um it was actually last month when we were celebrating women's month um she had this poster where she was at i don't know whether she was in jersey somewhere somewhere in jersey where she had the whole board stuff a board written protect your wombs as women and then she said something else but yeah her TikTok is more about that um, she also does put some personal stuff in there um, there was this other one where she posted saying uh, as a woman who's single um, this is what I do on a Thursday she was going on a solo date so yeah um, so yeah I wanted to talk about her and the whole thing that she puts up about taking care of yourself as a woman um abstain from sex and stuff yeah which is really true as women we really really need to like take care of ourselves because 
um, there's this notion where women are like saying, yo, please don't bash me guys. I'm just saying my own opinion. Whereas women, actually young ladies growing up, they would say, Uguti. they wouldn't, they would not that they would say, they wouldn't, like I remember in my teen years where girls would actually talk about their first time um of having sex obviously um some of them would say no i did it when i went to a party some of them would say no i actually planned my day and then when you would hear those stories about them talking about it to their first time was like this their experience was like this when they were teenagers and then if I could like meet them now in person I would like want to ask them Uti, back then since you broke your virginity back then when you were young looking back to now would you have done it if I were to meet those girls I would have asked them would you have done it and some of them i think maybe they might think about it and say i would have maybe waited and get to like understand Uti, why am i still pure why am i thinking of breaking my virginity i would think Uti, um for them when they think about it now because some of them they ended up getting pregnant some of them i don't know maybe they did get sick some of them maybe they still are alive but that's not the whole issue i just wanted to talk about Uti. how are they feeling right now since they broke their virginity when they were young it was just like for them in those days to ah just get rid of it and then you're going to be part of the club i can see they used to have this thing where um, if you broke a virginity, yay, you're in the club of girls who broke their virginity when they were in their teens. They had this whole notion of, whoo, breaking your virginity when you're still young, it's good. But yeah, um, I would like think about it. I would like think to them right now and I would like ask them right now, Woodsy, how is their mindset right now? But I'm sure some of them would say they regret it. Some would say no, they don't regret it. It's their choice. So, um, yeah, the point I'm trying to make is, you know what? When we were still young, there's a lot of things that are happening as teenagers um you have peer pressure you have all these things that are happening um society you care about what people think low self-esteem and all those things also in there and then you're trying to be in this group and you're trying to be the it girl and then you end up losing yourself along the way because you're trying to find yourself but you're finding yourself in in bad situations you're finding yourself in complicated situations where you'd find that you end up being pregnant if not being pregnant you end up getting all these diseases you get sick obviously hiv being one of them um and then you end up having a short lifespan because of the decisions that you made when you were still young. Um, yeah, man, it's just disheartening to see Uguti. It's still going on even right now um, in this generation. Ama 2K. Um, you would find them, Uguti. For me, I feel Uguti Ama 2K were. 2Ks are worse than the millenniums. 
which is my era they worse i'm sorry baby sis but your generation yo you guys are the worst i'm sorry um with seeing the way you guys move um your your <clears throat> how can i say this and not put it in a way with jaja you guys don't have respect i'm sorry you don't have respect towards your adults i've seen this one clip where it went viral man it went viral on tiktok it went viral also on facebook yeah i still have facebook um but it mostly went viral on tiktok where this kid the way you got the shy cockwalking a con, I was like, hey, because the way he was hitting that old lady, his his grandmother, it was like he's beating his friend who's his age. And I was like, the poor Kokoshem. And that whole story went around in South Africa. They ended up arresting this kid. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw the whole video, I was like, okay, Baba Bazali, why is he so angry? And I said, this generation, Amatuke, they're very angry. I don't know why they're so angry, but yo, yeah. So that's the first thing I thought of. Where's the parents? Where's the, the other people in the house? Why are they not helping? And then I was also thinking of this person who's actually taking this video why aren't they helping just put the phone down and just to sa koko man koko is in is in serious dire need of help because i kept seeing the boy ashai koko ngalela plate was it a plate or in but i know there was food in there i'm shy i could be mistaken i just saw something going through koko i was like mm -mm. this generation is very angry i don't know why and they're rude, man. The way they talk with adults, you would swear, would see, you know what? These two, it's like Nazi. They're the same age group, but they're not. And then another thing with the Matuke. Bakula Gabi, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying would see, Bakula Gabi. Um, if you could see, um, let's say it would be, okay, a 2008 kid, right? 16, a 2008 and then a 1998. Put them together, the same age group, no, not the same age group, the same gender, and then put them together, you would see, you would see, two kids, they look a bit older. I don't know whether it's me or, but if you'd put a 2K and then put a, a, a nine, 1998, you'd be like, the 2K looks like they're older. I don't know, maybe I'm at jeans or what, but yo, yo, if you would see them, you'd swear, you would see, you're the youngest compared to them. But anyways, but yeah, yeah, I think I went off the rails, but you know what? She was really speaking the truth in saying, us as women, we need to take care of our wombs because most of this generation, as you can see, you have seen, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, They're being taken care of women. There's no man in that household. And there's no father figure in that household. It's, I wouldn't say it's because, I don't want to put it solely because of teenage pregnancy or unplanned pregnancy. I don't want to say that, but if you could see Wuti Vele, if, if you can see, um, most of them, they got pregnant when they were teenagers. Some of them, they got pregnant 
just because of white night stand might not have been e teenage pregnancy some of them would have just been a white night stand and then most of those guys that they sleep with it's just one of those guys who just hit and run and then they never want to claim their responsibilities which is also it comes back to think we would see okay this person you did de- you date and then you did <laughs> you dated this guy and you should have seen the red flags we would see if i were to get pregnant obviously we're doing this thing which we're supposed to be doing it in the whole doing this whole thing in marriage but we are doing it out of wedlock you should have seen uti i'm a red flags when you guys were dating i'm not saying that i'm perfect i'm not perfect now i've dated and i've seen some red flags and i chose not to diverge on them but i saw them later uti you know what here it ain't going last but I'm grateful for the whole experience of it. Um but yeah. As as women we just need to like wake up. If you see all the red flags, don't go in them. And at Pilatina as women we forget to we fall hard. And once we fall hard, it's hard to get over it. When you break up, it's very hard for us to to come back to our senses and heal our healing process can take decades for some people it can take decades some people it can take just a week but for some of us like me it took me a couple of years but yeah um we forget to we we fall hard and the healing process is just the pits But yeah man it's just that would see you've seen the red flags the person that you you decided to sleep with and now you bearing all the consequences of your child not having a father figure your child not having um a bond with their dad because of all the mistakes that you did but i'm not trying to make myself perfect uti just because i grew up in a family household where i had both parents the reason why i'm saying this is because for me personally i wouldn't wish for my kid uti not to be raised in a family where both parents are there Yes, I've seen it where a lot of kids grew up in a family where the dad is not there or maybe the mother's not there, but but most most of the time it's dads who are not in in the household. Um so I wouldn't wish my kid would see to go through that. So because for me I have grew up in a home where I had both parents because you can see there is a difference when when you see kids who grew up in a household where both parents are there some of them they tend to grow up by their right and then some of them can have both parents but they can still come out um they can still grow up be something different but I'm not trying to woo sorry I'm not trying to make myself perfect Ruti just because me and I grew up in a family household where both parents were here are here um it's just that I've seen Ruti how it is um and another thing you can have both parents in the house but omunye is not um is not tough tough love sometimes is good i don't want to lie um it is good it has its pros and cons um tough love because i have grew up in a tough 
love home whereas my dad is very very strict um and i am grateful for that duty his strictness has made me this person that i am but then again it has made me into <laughs> into this girl who's afraid of the unknown i'm constantly in my shell so it has its pros and cons but other than that i would say i'm truly truly grateful Uguti. you know what he was very tough on me but he has you know what if here's the results are you willing to live a life like that so yeah it helps with you having a tough um parent can be maybe your mom or dad but it really does help because tough love sometimes really really helps <laughs> um but yeah i don't have much more to say um i think i spoke too much it's about 30 minutes since i've rambled i think i'm gonna cut some parts where i was like st stuck on some topics stuck on i know i was going all over the place but yeah you know what tough love does help sometimes we just need to see it for what it is <laughs>